let's consider a four stroke engine four stroke engine now as i told you according to number of stroke there are two classification four stroke engine and two stroke engine now what is mean by four stroke engine as far as engine is concerned there are four processes happening inside the engine what are that four process one is suction then compression expansion and exhaust these are a four process which happens inside the engine combining these four processes we form engine cycle okay so if i combine all these four processes we form one cycle and for completing this cycle if a four stroke of a piston is required then that particular engine is called as four stroke engine so already we are knowing what is meant by stroke stroke is the distance between top dead center to bottom dead center so if four strokes are required for completing one cycle what is meant by one cycle one cycle is suction compression expansion exhaust so for completing these four process or one cycle if four strokes are required then that particular engine is called as four stroke engine if this complete cycle is completed only in a two strokes of the engine then it is called as two strokes there are two stroke engine so initially we are going to focus on what is a four stroke engine which is most widely used in our days okay now let us consider a working of a four stroke engine so i will draw a simplified figure of four stroke engine let's consider a line diagram of four stroke engine this is cylinder a piston connecting rod and a crankshaft so here let's draw inlet valve exhaust valve this is inlet manifold this is exhaust manifold at the center there will be spark plug or fuel injector accordingly requirement and here let's draw a inlet valve and exhaust valve here i have to show a tdc and bdc position so this is a tdc position tdc means top dead center position and on the bottom side i will show bdc position so let's consider this is bdc tdc and bdc and what is distance between these two is called as stroke okay so this is a crankshaft this is what a crank shaft this is cylinder inlet manifold exhaust manifold the wall which is fitted inside the inlet manifold is called as inlet wall the wall which is fitted inside uh, outlet manifold is called as exhaust wall or outlet wall this is a piston which i have shown this is connecting rod this is crank and this is what a crank shaft so we take a mechanical energy output from this particular shaft now let's understood how it works let's understood how it works now as i told you there are four processes there are four process which will happen inside this engine now what are that four process a first process what i told is a suction process next process is called as a compression process next process is called as expansion process and next process is called as exhaust process now how this suction process happens let's understand how this suction process happens let's understand before a suction stroke or suction process before suction stroke or suction process this piston will be at top dead center so means at this point at this point the piston will be at top dead center and <coughs> this particular wall will be a open position so open position means let's draw a open position of the wall so open position means it will be moved down for some distance so now space is available so this has open and this has closed you can uh, differentiate between this and this two now let's understood that this piston is present at the tdc 
before starting the suction stroke. When we start a suction stroke, the piston starts moving on a downside direction. Piston starts moving on a downside direction. When piston moves on a downside direction, the volume above the piston goes on increases. As volume above the piston goes on increases, here what is generated is called as vacuum. Now what is vacuum? Vacuum is pressure below the atmosphere. We know the atmosphere pressure is 1.01325 bar. So if pressure goes below this, then we say it's vacuum. Now why vacuum is generated? The piston is moving from TDC towards BDC. So piston moves on downside direction and that's why vacuum is generated above this. So before suction, where was the piston? Piston is not at TDC. So let's, I will say it is at TDC and it moves from TDC to BDC. Okay. And furthermore, what are the wall position I am going to write here. Now we know that the inlet wall is open in the suction process. So I will write inlet wall is open. IVO means what? Inlet wall open. And exhaust wall. Exhaust wall is what? A close. So this is close. So what I have written is here movement, how piston moves. And here what I have written is wall position this is wall position so in the suction process piston moves from tdc to bdc and the wall positions are inlet wall open exhaust wall close that we can understand here so piston has started moving from this point and it will come up to this one completing the suction stroke so in the suction stroke what has happened is vacuum is generated above this now inlet wall is open Inlet wall is open means there is a communication of inlet pressure to the outside atmospheric. So as initially I will consider this is a petrol engine. So for the petrol engine here there will be a carburetor. Here there will be a carburetor. What carburetor will do? Carburetor will mix air and fuel with each other and that mixture will be supplied to the engine. Now this mixture which is pre prepared by carburetor that is air plus fuel that mixture will be sucked by the what uh, piston cylinder arrangement and why it is get sucked because vacuum is generated. So the air plus fuel is entering into the system. Air plus fuel is entering into the system in the suction stroke. After, after suction process now at the end of suction process where is the piston? Piston is at Piston is at BDC at the end of suction process. Now we are moving towards compression process. In the compression process, let us see what is the wall wall positions. Now both wall will be get close. Both wall will be get close. So I will show both wall are close. So this wall is close. This wall is close. So I'll write here as both wall are close. Inlet wall is close and exhaust wall is also close. And piston starts moving now in upward side direction. The piston will be moving in upward side direction. When it is moving in upward side direction, now what is above the piston? Above the piston, what we are having? Air plus fuel mixture. This mixture will be get compressed as piston moves from BDC to TDC. So piston moves from BDC to TDC. BDC to TDC. So as piston is moving upward side direction, it compresses. Compresses means what? Volume will go on reduces and pressure will go on increases. So here, as piston moves, the volume reduces, pressure goes on increases. And where compression stroke will end? It will end at TDC. It has started at BDC and it will end at TDC. Okay. After compression stroke, after compression stroke, we have to burn the fuel and that burning process is called as ignition process. That burning process is called as what? Ignition process where piston at the time of ignition piston will be at top dead center. It will stop for fraction of second at top dead center. Now how ignition will occur? We know that we have completed now compression stroke. After compression stroke, piston will be at this position. This position means what? At the top dead center. Above the piston, what we are having? Air plus fuel, which is compressed. And on the air plus fuel, if spark occur, if spark occur, then what will happen? There are vapors of the petrol that will catch a fire and that petrol will burn suddenly like a blast. 
and as it burns suddenly like a blast it will generate a high pressure on the piston actually pressure is generated on a piston on cylinder on this upper face of the cylinder then this wall etc within this all part only piston can move because we know cylinder cannot move wall cannot move cylinder head cannot move spark plug cannot move the part which can move on a downside direction is only piston so as we have burned a fuel that particular process is called as ignition process and with ignition process we can generate very high force on the piston and that's why piston starts moving now in a downward side direction downward side direction means what now piston has started moving from tdc to bdc started moving from tdc to bdc in which process in the expansion process in the expansion process so i'll write here the piston starts moving from tdc to bdc at that time what are the wall positions wall conditions inlet wall is closed exhaust wall is closed so both wall are closed so i'll write here inlet wall is closed exhaust wall is closed both wall are closed and because of ignition high force available on the piston and piston starts moving on downside direction piston moves from tdc to bdc this particular process is called as what expansion process sometime it is also called as a power stroke because power is available in this particular stroke so power will be produced out of these four process power will be produced only in expansion stroke expansion process and that's why this is called as a power stroke or power process also now at the end of expansion stroke where is the piston piston is at bdc what are the wall condition wall condition both wall are close both wall are close now i have to start exhaust process because after ignition after ignition fuel got burned and after burning of fuel what is generated is the smoke is generated of uh, exhaust gas is generated this exhaust gases we have to remove it we have to remove it and how it is removed that is removed in the fourth process where piston will move from bdc to tdc where what is the wall position wall position is inlet wall is closed but exhaust wall is open evo means what exhaust wall is open ivc means what inlet wall is closed let's understand here now we are going for exhaust process we are going for exhaust process in the exhaust process as i told you piston will move from bdc to tdc so it's moving upwards what is above the piston above the piston we are having now the exhaust gases gases which is generated because of combustion of fuel and what is the wall position the wall position is exhaust wall is open what is wall position is exhaust wall is open so this is open you can recognize the position of this and this this is closed position this is open position what is above the piston above the piston we are having now exhaust gases these exhaust gases as piston move upwards a direction the pressure will be generated because of this pressure all the exhaust gases will be get removed and it will be exhausted to the atmosphere at that time exhaust wall is open but inlet wall is closed why it is closed because if i made this is also open then exhaust gas may enter into the inlet manifold that is what i don't require i want exhaust gases to be going only for exhaust manifold so there is a exhaust wall now this completed four processes we have completed suction compression expansion exhaust now how many strokes we have completed let's see what is mean by stroke stroke is distance between tdc to bdc or movement of piston from one dead center to other dead center right so in the suction it has moved from tdc to bdc so here we required one stroke in the compression piston will move from bdc to tdc here we required another stroke in the expansion piston will move from tdc to bdc here we required another stroke and exhaust process piston will move from bdc to tdc here we required another stroke so there are how many strokes 1 2 3 4 4 four strokes are required for completing four processes and that's why uh, such kind of engine is called as four stroke engine it takes four strokes for completing a four process and what is four process a four process is nothing but one cycle so after ending a exhaust process after ending a exhaust process where is piston piston is at tdc piston is at tdc okay after ending a exhaust process once again the cycle will start with suction so in the suction 
where is piston at TDC? In the exhaust, where is piston at TDC? So, after ending exhaust process, a suction will start. In a suction, piston will move from TDC to BDC. In the compression, piston will move from BDC to TDC. In the expansion, piston will move from TDC to BDC. And in exhaust, piston will move from BDC to TDC. The wall position already we have discussed. This is the wall position. So this complete one cycle. In the process, what has happened? The power has generated in the expansion process. Power has generated in the expansion process. Means what? The pressure which is available on the piston that has transferred to crankshaft through connecting rod. This connecting rod. This is crank. So when piston is moving on downside direction, the force is available over this particular shaft. Shaft will start rotating. And as shaft will start rotating, this power we can extract outside. And that can be given to the particular application. Now we have discussed a four stroke engine. And that is petrol engine. Now we have to discuss about diesel engine. A very slight difference is there in petrol engine and diesel engine. Most important and major difference is what? Instead of spark plug, what we are having is the fuel injector. So it will inject a fuel, fuel injector. Whereas carburetor will be absent for what? For the diesel engine. Carburetor will be absent for diesel engine. So first difference is spark plug is replaced by fuel injector and carburetor is removed for which engine? A diesel engine. I am discussing about diesel engine. I am discussing about diesel engine. Now in this process what will happen? The processes are very similar. By suction, compression, expansion, exhaust. Only thing is how you are going to ignite a fuel. Previous case, when there was a spark plug, we were, occurrence, we were occurring a spark in the air plus fuel mixture. Now in this case, what happened in suction, only air will be get sucked, only air will be get sucked. So air will enter into the, into the cylinder, then in the compression only air will be get compressed and after compression the fuel will be get injected. Now the air which has got compressed, its temperature will be above than that of the ignition point temperature of diesel. And that's why when diesel get injected, the, it will get burned. And after burning, it will start expansion stroke. And after expansion, they, that will be exhaust. The difference lies between petrol and diesel engine is ignition. In the petrol engine, we use a spark plug. In the diesel engine, we use fuel injector. In the diesel engine, other difference is what? It doesn't use a carburetor. In the suction process, it takes only uh, air and fuel will be get mixed with that particular air after compression at the time of ignition. So these are petrol engine, diesel engine in the four strokes.